Greetings tech and gaming fans, Edge Runners is back with the latest updates you don't want to miss. In today's episode, RTX 5080 benchmarks are out and the results might not be what you expected, AMD's RDNA 4 mobile GPU update and new RTX 5060 listings. In addition, we take a look at latest DLC for Atomic Heart by Munfish and more. Prepare a cup of your favorite tea, settle in and let's kick things off. First up, ahead of the RTX 5080's official launch, Nvidia lifted the embargo on reviews for the new mid-tier graphics card. Hardware Unboxed was among the first to test the card, and the results were significantly below expectations. The RTX 5080 was tested alongside the Ryzen 9 800X 3D, with competition coming from previous generation AMD and Nvidia cards. In 17 game tests at full HD, the RTX 5080 averaged 176 frames per second, slightly ahead of the RTX 4080's 175 frames per second, but almost identical to the RTX 4080 Super, which reached 177 frames per second. At Quad HD, the RTX 5080 averaged 146 frames per second, outperforming the RTX 4080 Super by 4% and the RTX 4080 by 6.5%. In 4K, the RTX 5080 saw a more noticeable difference hitting 91 frames per second on average. This was a 13% improvement over the RTX 4080 and 11% better than the RTX 4080 Super. Ray tracing results were also modest, with only small gains over the RTX 4080, 4% at Full HD, 6% at Quad HD, and 13% at 4K. However, the RTX 5080 did outperform previous generation cards in terms of energy efficiency. When factoring in price per frame in 4K, the RTX the RTX 5080 didn't look too bad at its MSRP. The average cost per frame was $10.98, nearly $1.50 less than the RTX 4080 Super, which Hardware Unboxed sees as the true competitor for the RTX 5080 in terms of pricing. The RTX 4080, on the other hand, is considered overpriced at its recommended price. Looking at retail prices in mid-2024, the RX 7900 XTX presents a more attractive offer for 4K gaming. Priced at $900, the RX 7900 XTX delivers a cost per frame of $10.71, 2.5% lower than the RTX 5080's. If the RTX 5080 exceeds $1,000 in retail, the gap between the two cards will widen further. Overall, Hardware Unboxed expressed disappointment with the RTX 5080's performance, humorously dubbing it the RTX 4080 Ti Super, suggesting that this should have been the card's actual position in the market. They also pointed out that instead of waiting for the RTX 5080's launch, gamers could buy the RTX 4080 Super now for minimal performance loss and potential savings. Is the RTX 5080's performance what you expected? Share your thoughts in the comments. Munfish has officially released the third major expansion for Atomic Heart, titled Trapped in the Depths. The DLC is now available on PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox, accompanied by a launch trailer showcasing new environments, enemies, and gameplay mechanics. In Trapped in the Depths, players will venture into Neptune, an underwater research facility that holds the key to stopping a new and deadly threat. The expansion introduces a variety of fresh content, including new weapons, abilities, and enemy types, enhancing the combat experience with additional strategic options. The story-driven expansion also brings in new characters, expanding the game's lore while revisiting familiar locations from the base game. Among them is the flying city of Chelome, now overrun by rogue robots offering players a chance to see how the chaos has evolved since the original campaign. With its mix of underwater exploration, intense battles and expanded narrative elements, Trapped in the Depths aims to deliver an immersive new chapter in the Atomic Heart universe. Recent rumors suggested that AMD initially planned to price the Radeon RX 9070 XT at $899, but postponed its release to adjust pricing in response to Nvidia. These claims originated from the Bulgarian retailer Gplay. However, AMD's chief gaming architect Frank Azor has now addressed the speculation stating that the $899 price tag was never part of AMD's plans. Despite this clarification, AMD has yet to reveal the actual pricing for the Radeon RX 9000 series. Their official launch is scheduled scheduled for March, with pricing details expected to be announced closer to release. What price do you think AMD will set for the RX 9070 XT? Share your thoughts in the comments. WCCF Tech reported that Nvidia's partners are delaying the launch of their custom GeForce RTX 5090 models to February 6th due to serious supply issues. Today, MSI officially confirmed this information. However, for now the delay only applies to MSI stores in the United States. Pre-orders for the GeForce RTX 5090 will open on January 30th, 2025. Sales will begin on February 6th. As for the GeForce RTX 5080, MSI will start selling them on January 30th. Previously, analyst Moore's Law is Dead claimed that the RTX 
5090 launch will be similar to the GeForce RTX 3090 release in 2020, with extremely limited availability. Retailers are expected to receive only a few units, making the RTX 5090 a rare and highly sought-after GPU at launch. The developers of Doom the Dark Ages have confirmed that the game will include the controversial de novo anti-piracy protection. This decision has already sparked backlash among gamers, as previous Bethesda titles including Indiana Jones and The Great Circle did not use de novo. Many players worry that the DRM could negatively impact performance, causing instability and slowdowns. However, there is a possibility that de novo might be removed later, similar to Doom Eternal, which dropped the protection a year after launch. Doom the Dark Ages is set to release on May 15th, 2025 for PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series. The game will be available on Xbox Game Pass from day one. Nvidia has yet to officially announce its more affordable Blackwell Series GPUs, but its partners are already preparing for the launch and registering new models with regulatory agencies. The Eurasian Economic Commission database now lists multiple GeForce RTX 5060 and RTX 5060 Ti models from the Chinese manufacturer Maxun as first reported by video cards. According to the Economic Commission filings, Nvidia plans to release two variants of the GeForce RTX 5060 Ti, one with 8GB of VRAM and a higher-end version version with 16 gigabytes. As for the budget-friendly GeForce RTX 5060, only an 8 gigabytes model is mentioned in Maxon's filings. This suggests that Nvidia may not be increasing VRAM capacity for its entry-level GPUs. Should Nvidia be increasing VRAM on their entry-level GPUs? Share your thoughts in the comments. The developers of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 continue to build excitement ahead of the game's release with new trailers. Warhorse Studios has released a cinematic video showcasing the vibrant medieval life players will experience. The trailer follows protagonist Henry as he engages in drinking, fighting, and various adventures, both pleasant and troublesome. The full release of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is set for February 4th, with high expectations from RPG fans eagerly awaiting the sequel. Earlier this year, AMD officially introduced its first RDNA 4-based desktop GPUs, the Radeon RX 9070 and RX 9070 XT. However, the company has not shared any details about mobile GPUs based on RDNA 4, leaving the future of Radeon RX 9000 EM laptop graphics uncertain. In an interview with Notebook Check, AMD's Director of Product Management Ben Conrad addressed this topic. When asked about the possibility of RDNA 4-based mobile GPUs, he stated that AMD currently sees RDNA 4 primarily as a desktop architecture, but did not rule out future mobile solutions. This suggests that AMD is unlikely to release Radeon RX 9000M laptop GPUs in the near future. Instead, the company may be prioritizing new APUs with powerful integrated Radeon 8060s graphics. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. Do you think AMD should release RDNA 4 mobile GPUs or are powerful APUs the better choice? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.